Welcome to Arashtad.com video tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to create a blog for the website. Uh, firstly, I need a category for my blog. I want to add new category to my categories uh, to put all of the uh, all of the articles into uh, that for uh, to show them into my blog page. So I create blog category uh, and here okay I click save and close and now I have blog category here for my articles now I am going to uh, create a new menu item uh, and edit here after about us uh, therefore I go to menus main menu add new menu item I hit the select button and select category blog uh, because I want to show all of the uh, the articles that are included in my blog category in my blog page as a blog style in a blog style I hit it and right here blog this word will be shown in uh, my front end as the name of menu item uh, something like uh, about us or home and alias will be the uh, the URL block page for example menu location it will be in main menu public published and uh, here I choose block category as the category that uh, its articles uh, must must be shown in uh, my blog page it's done I click save and close let's take a look at the website yes uh, blog menu item has been added uh, but if I click on it I don't have anything in my blog page because uh, we don't have uh, added any article to my category to a blog category yet therefore I go to lorimipson.net copy the text and then go to content article manager add new article blog article 1 blog article 1 uh, I want to I want to put it into blog category and I don't want it to be a featured article uh, and I paste the article here Yes. Uh, also, I can put an image here. I want it to be aligned. I set it its alignment to left. Uh, its dimension will be. 200 for example in 200 pixels and update okay also uh, I want to uh, add some distance between image and uh, the text therefore I go to HTML HTML link I open it and add uh, some CSS codes uh, in image tag in its style float left margin 0 pixel for top 
10 pixel for right, 5 pixel for bottom, and also 0 pixel for left. Update. And as you see, the distance has been added. Okay. I hit the we'll need this code I copy it okay after saving and going to front end my article has been added to uh, my blog page okay now I want to add uh, more articles to blog category blog article 2 category blog category and I paste all of the codes for this article as well okay save another one blog article 3 blog article 3 category blog category again I paste all of its HTML codes here save and new And the last one, blog article 5, blog category, paste HTML codes, and save and close. Now, I have five articles in my blog uh, category that all of them will be shown in my blog page. As you see, I have five articles in my blog page. Joomla, as default, uh, will add the two columns for blog category. My uh, newest article will be uh, my leading article, uh, and the rest will be in two columns, will be shown in two columns. Uh, I can customize this style by going to menus, main menu and my menu, my blog menu. We have uh, some options here in blog layout options. For example, leading. Uh, at the moment uh, I have one leading article intro articles in my case uh, there is four uh, there are four articles as intro articles columns uh, we have two columns and links uh, are the link of uh, the rest articles that we uh, we have not them in my in our uh, block front page uh, I want to Customize it by three. Uh, no leading article, three intro articles, uh, and uh, show all of them in one column, not two column, and uh, two links. Okay, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, now I don't have a leading article. Uh, all of these three articles are. Uh, my intro articles that I wanted to show them in my first blog page and these are the links that I assigned here 
there's all links and pagination that I can customize it customize it here hide show auto use global and uh, pagination results there are uh, more options in these tabs that uh, all of them has descriptions uh, if you hold your cursor on their titles uh, you can see their description in yellow or white bubbles okay the task is done thank you for watching see you in next lessons